fifth grade, chapter chapter eleven, lesson four, problem solving. Unlock the problem. Lori has a quadrilateral with vertices A, B, C, and D. The quadrilateral has four right angles. She wants to show that quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a square because she does not have a ruler to measure the lengths of the sides. How can she show that the quadrilateral has four congruent sides and is a square? Use a graphic organizer below to help you solve a problem. And then we're going to pretend like we have a paper and we fold it about and find our answer. So what do I need to find? I need to, to, do, I need to determine whether the quadrilater quadrilateral has, what, four congruent sides and is a, what, square. What information do I need to use? The quadrilateral has how many angles? Four. Four what type of angles? Right. Right. It has four right angles. To be a square, it must also have four right sides. Four right sides. Four, right sides. four, four sides. Four congruent sides. How will I use the information? I can trace the figure, cut it out, and then fold it to match each pair of sides to show that the sides are, well, that they are congruent, but what sides am I going to have, guys? Basically, I'm going to have A, B, right? That's what they gave us the vertices, so we can name our sides. So I'd have A, B, B, C, C, D, and D, A. So we need to prove that all four of those sides are congruent, right? So solve the problem. I traced the quadrilateral and cut it out. I used, act it out by folding to match each pair of sides. I folded the quadrilateral to match slide A, B to slide C, D. So basically, they took this side and they flipped it down to match up D, C. Then they took and folded AD, so this side right here, and flipped it over to match up to BC to see if those two lined up. I folded the quadrilateral di diagonally to see if AD matched to AD and side CD matched to BC. So basically, they took and folded it across like this. Because sometimes when you fold them, if they don't all have the same length of sides, will they match up if you fold it diagonally? No. Okay? Sometimes you'll have a little excess hanging off. So, what else do you need to solve the problem? So, they tried folding it in all those ways. So, what else do you need to solve the problem? So, we said in order to see what else to solve the problem, we said we also need to prove that BC and AB are congruent along with C, D, and A, D. So quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a square. All right, try another problem. Terrence has drawn a triangle with vertices E, F, and G. The triangle has three congruent angles. He wants to show that the triangle E, F, G has three congruent sides, but he does not have a ruler to measure the lengths of the sides. How can he show that the triangle has three congruent sides? Read the problem. What do I need to find? We want to prove that sides E, F, F, G, and G, E are congruent. What information do I need to use? The triangle E, F, G has three congruent angles. How will I use the information? We would trace the triangle, then cut it out. Solve the problem. Record your work by drawing your model. After each fold, they will each draw in with the sides that you find are congruent. So we draw our triangle, and then we put a little piece coming out to make it look 3D. And then we said E, F is congruent to F, G, and it was folded at point F. We said that EG is congruent to EF, and it was folded at E. And then GE is congruent to GF, and it was folded at G. That's what our dotted lines mean is that was the fold line. How can you use reasoning to show that all three sides of the triangle are congruent using just two folds? Explain. Since you had two congruent pairs, our third pair contains some of the segments that we already determined as congruent. So basically, we knew that all...